Al, come check this car out. Bro, what have we got here? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We have got the DC2. Type R. Type R. Right, I'm Alex for SE Performance. I'm Shah from Compare.Parts. How you guys doing? Uh, we're here today at RMS Garage to talk about this Integra Type R DC2. As you can see, uh, this is not a standard car um, and it's had a lot of work done to it. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the spec and uh, show you a few clips on the car. So normally the Integra DC2 Type R comes with a B18 C5 or C6 engine, yes. which runs what, 200 horsepower? About 200. 197. Oh, well, uh, okay. Thank you, Guy. Cheers. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Correction, 197 horsepower what's, standard. What's an extra oh, no, what's three horsepower amongst friends, eh? Do you know what I mean? Wow. I don't know. Anyway, this is a K20 A2 engine, which is a two litre displacement. The normal B18 is a 1.8. This is a turbocharged uh, engine. It's got Borg Warner turbo, Sidewinder, exhaust manifold, twin gated, which is straight out the bonnet. Uh, custom intercooler pipe work, custom intercoolers. It's running Skunk 2 throttle body, Skunk 2 intake, Torx fuel rail, 1000cc ID injectors, CP pistons, speed factory rods, you like that little plug there? Oop. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens. When it happens, it That's happens. what they call wardrobe malfunction. That's it. <laughs> has a lot of the DNA from his drag car has been put into the Integra. So Alex, tell us a little bit about Ray and why he decided to build the Integra over the drag car. Because, 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 obviously everyone's got their group chats on WhatsApp and stuff. Ray has been getting ripped on one of the group chats. Obviously Ray had the most powerfulest car, so Ray was always king, but everyone was just like, yeah, but you're just going fast in the straight lines. Like what happened to the bends, bro? What happened to the track? And Ray's always saying to me, don't worry, I one day I'm gonna build something to destroy. And I was like, yes, Ray, do it come to the dark side, Ray. And then, yeah, one day Ray just turns up with this and he's like, I've done it, I've, I've I bought a Teg out. He's like, it's just a bare shell though. So this is truly built and not bought. This is the definition of it, guys. Built from the ground up, he's done everything spray job the lot fabrication everything four months four months he's built this car that i mean that's that's crazy i mean i've got project cars at Ooh. six years yeah it's still not finished four months from a shell to a fully working car it's very, about 90 percent complete yeah he's got some more, more things on it which we're not allowed to talk about it's all kind of hush hush secret squirrels yeah but once it's finished we hope to do the full video so this is kind of like a, a sneak preview of the 90 percent build of this car, but this thing is awesome. Al, why don't you talk them around the car a little bit? Yeah, so obviously I'm a VAG guy now, but back in the day I used to have EGs, EKs. I had a hell of a lot of Dell Souls, but everyone knows if you had a DC2 or NSX, you was the man. People were like, oh, I'm raving about the EGs. I understand that I had one, but this car was just iconic. Um, I love what Ray's done with this car. He's kind of kept it original, but added little touches like side skirts with the rms on there with the little turbo and obviously he's put his sticker there as well which i thought was really really cool um these cars come out i think with 1100 11 that's light that is super light bro that's really light and that would have had about obviously we heard 197 brake horsepower <laughs> which by the way back in the day i ain't gonna lie was battering us bag boys because we were thinking what the hell's going on and they're like VTEC bro race me <laughs> but yeah Ray's decided to gut out the back of the inside of the car with a couple of speakers in there what's I don't know why what's with the rear speakers bro, Ray what's with the rear speakers you don't even listen to songs bro bro take it out bro you that's don't with, listen to that's that that's with man. Spice Girls yeah <laughs> definitely but um yeah what I love about this car obviously I just I love new cars, but I just feel like most new cars, especially makes like BMW and Mercedes, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but your cars are kind of samey, man. They all look the same. These cars are different. Like just even the shape, you know, the lines of it, the curves, even the headlights at the front. Like you would never get like the same cars looking exactly the same. And that's what I kind of liked about Honda. And obviously they were cheap and good bang for the buck. Everyone knew. 
When that thing was in B tech, it's hard to catch. <laughs> Yeah, look at this beautiful shot right here. It's got a... oh, I thought he's gonna run me over then. You're not running back. That was close. What was that, Al? It doesn't make enough power to spin up the front wheels. I swear we heard you say that. <laughs> you know, these are for the car guys that lift weights every day, you know, gym, day in, day out, eating your protein bars and that, but you still love cars with your big muscles, but I've got a challenge for you guys, innit? Let me show you what I'm working with, yeah? Let's go, buddy! <laughs> nice raise with raise, isn't that right, Ray? Uh, yeah, I like what you did there. See what I done there? Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got some Avon tires, ZZRs, obviously semi slick track tires. We've got here because we all know Ray's gonna be going hard in this. <laughs> Let's just see what brake self he's got and stuff. Ooh, two sets, guys. It's very nice of you, Al. I was half expecting you just to chuck the wheel off camera. Yeah, and then Ray would have knocked me out of my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so Ray, what brake self you got here? Uh, EP3. So we've got the EP3 brakes, guys, um, with braided lines and stuff. I see he's got the bad boy Meister R's as well. Yeah, the Meister R Zeta CRDs. Basically 90% road, 10% track. Yeah, fully adjustable as well, as we can see here. Right, so here, this is quite interesting on Ray's Integra DC2 Type R. I say that three times really fast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is an electronic bypass valve. Um, and see here, it's got a butterfly valve in here. And when this is open, Ray, can you open it? Did you hear that? It battery's opened... dying. Sounds like the battery's dying. It does dying. sound like the battery's <laughs> dying a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens here is the exhaust um, basically the butterfly valve opens and the exhaust will follow the path of least resistance. So instead of going out through the many silencers and back boxes that he has to keep the volume down, it will come straight out here. And this, as we mentioned earlier, is a safety device to warn uh, pedestrians and Prius owners and anybody else that, you know, he's on the road. Definitely to you Prius owners. Yes. 100%. 100% guys. And bikes. And bikes. Cyclists yes. mainly. I think he, he specifically got it for cyclists and people <laughs> in the cyclist night. So yeah, so uh, the, it's controlled from the inside of the car. Um, so Ray, can we start her up and listen to her with the valve open and the valve closed? So maybe let's sh close the valve first and we can hear a comparison. Valve is closed. Perfect. All right, Ray, do you want to... Perfect. Okay, so now we get the valve open. You want to open it, right? Let's open up the valve. Crank it up, buddy. All right. Can you hear the difference? You can hear the smoke. Ooh. Sounds that nice. That sounds nice. Ooh. Too loud. Is it? Give it a rip, right? I'm going to step back. Now turn it back. See the difference straight away. We can kill the engine. So, very interesting piece of kit here. So, this is just a simple, well, I guess it's a Y shape. Um, butterfly valve installed, 12 volt power supply, probably has a rocker switch inside the car, 
and can switch it between, you know, nice and quiet and Sunday driving mode and yeah. ASBO mode with it open. Definitely, so cool, definitely. This is a comfy seat, Sal. Huh? Yeah. Can you jump in? Yeah, man. I think they do them in different colors, those Recaros, right? They do. So these are the black Recaros and, and these cars, you can tell that this car comes from kind of a motorsport background. These seats are hugging me in. Yeah. You know, I can feel them hugging me around the shoulders, around the waist, you know. It's good I haven't put too much on. I can still get into this seat quite nice and comfy. But yeah, they've got lots of different colors for these, right? What are different colors? Black, red, blue, and yellow. Black, red, blue, and yellow. Wow, that's this, pretty cool. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever seen them in black. The ones I normally see, they were always in red. So it's quite rare to even have them in black. DC. And why did they jump from DC2 to DC5? Uh, what, what happened, happened to, to number 3, three four? 4? Yeah, <laughs> I've always wanted to know that as well, it's yeah. crazy. Honda, if you're watching this video, please explain what happened to the DC3 and DC4, or if there's a Honda expert out there that can explain it to us. Oh, oh you, you're looking to bring one out? Oh. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what they're doing Exclusive. next. So yeah, so we're sitting inside Ray's car, pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, basically Ray had a drag car, it was a carbon fibred EG. And um, he decided that he wanted to get out of drag racing and get into track racing. So a lot of the really cool gear that was in that car has been put into his Integra. So we've got some really cool things in this car. Yep, so now we're here with this, well, for me, it's unfamiliar, this sort of like stack dash. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So stack, stack, stack will be used to make the digital dashes. This is yep. actually an AIM MXS Strada dash. Okay. And it's the race version. They've got a race version and they've got a road version. It's a five inch TFT screen and basically can show you everything that you need to know on the car. And it connects to your ECU using CAN bus, which is like a modern way of, uh, you know, different systems talking to each other. And also what he's got, which is really clever, he's got a GPS on the roof. Yeah, I see that. I was yeah. wondering. So what that does is it's quite clever, is it measures the radar speed, so the GPS speed, which is pretty accurate, versus the ground speed in the car, or, or the driven speed, I should say. So if you are launching the car and your front wheels are spinning, yep. your speedo might be saying, oh, I'm doing 70 miles an hour. But actually your radar speed or your GPS speed is you're actually doing 10. Yeah. So the car knows, okay, I'm wheel spinning right now. So it'll pull torque from the engine until you regain traction. So a lot of drag racers use it, especially in four wheel drive cars where they'll spin all four wheels. And they're, they're able to compare the driven wheel speed versus the radar speed. And they can apply different strategies to cut torque from the car. So with something like this, if you ever decide to take it drag racing, he's yeah. able to have GPS based uh, traction control, which is really, really cool stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Proper clever stuff, yeah. So he's definitely gone all out in here. He's got the Honda RK Pro. Now, a lot of people are running Link ECU, Cyvex ECUs, all the modern ECUs, but there's guys out there with the Honda Artists that are doing crazy, crazy power. Ray, what's that yellow car with the Honda that just does mental power? The Minion. The Minion, yes. And how much horsepower yeah, has the Minion got? 1,400 on a crazy. Honda, right? So that's yeah. crazy. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Cyvex, life racing ECUs. You know, Link is out there. They're really strong and their game is strong. But in the Honda scene, I think Honda are doing really, really well. Yeah. And the best bang for buck, really, yeah. I think, when it comes to Hondas, really. Definitely. So it's, it's a lot cheaper. A Honda is a lot cheaper, isn't it, Ray? Yeah. So for someone starting out, if you're starting out and you're doing a turbo conversion to your Honda, uh, Honda is maybe a good go-to ECU to get you off the ground. And, then, yep. and there's okay. different stages of Honda as well, isn't there? Yeah, that's the, the K Pro 4. The K Pro 4, yeah. So Ray's got the K Pro 4. And, you know, I've played around with the software. It's pretty straightforward to use. You can set up the parameters, set all the different things up. It's definitely a lot friendlier than some of the other ECUs out there. I'm not a mapper, but I dabble. Um, and yeah, this the Honda is pretty straightforward. I think it's a lot more friendly for people who are just getting into, you know, kind of tweaking and tuning their cars and setting things up right. So, you know, if Ray can use it, anyone can use it because Ray's not really good at computers. <laughs> Ray, you would admit, right? Computers are not really your thing. Yeah, bro. Why do Windows always want to do configuring updates now? <laughs> so with the thing that you said, talking about the row speed and the uh, what other speed is it? Sir? The GPS, so radar speed. Radar speed yeah. and road speed. Does it go through like wheel speed sensors or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So 
dependent on the car, you either have a speed sensor that's on the gearbox, on the diff, or you know, on the drive shafts, right? Yeah. Um, and that obviously feeds into the ECU and you know how, how fast the car's going. But obviously yeah. if you're wheel spinning, you're telling the ECU that you're going faster than you actually are. The ECU yeah. doesn't know that you're wheel spinning, so you'll just carry on spinning. Yeah. Um, whereas if it's got a second thing to check, so it can check, okay, okay, the car's saying I'm doing 70 miles an hour, but the radar speed is saying I'm doing 10, so there's a big difference there for I'm wheel spinning. I pull torque, the two come back together, yeah. and then it basically reduces it, it, whatever strategy it's got to, call, to pull torque, it turns that off. So I've got this on my drag car as well, because when I launch at Santa Pod, all four wheel spin. Yeah, so the car doesn't crazy. know. Yeah, that's so the car doesn't even know that it's wheel spinning. <laughs> So we have, we've inputted radar speed into it as well. So when it detects that the radar speed and the driven speed is different, it pulls torque, gets the car back online. So yeah. actually when you see me launching, it's not as dramatic. I'm not spinning all four wheels and just wasting time, just spinning on the that's spot. It's quite really helpful for cars that's quite old that hasn't got the technology. Definitely, yeah. I mean, a lot of cars... mad power, yeah. like quite strong power for an old car. I think it's pretty sophisticated for traction control. Yeah. But again, I'm not a mapper, I'm not a tuner, but... Um, when I heard about the GPS and um, how to use that system for this, I thought that's pretty pretty cool. Because we all know spinning is not winning, guys. Ah, I love that. Number one. Rule. Spinning is not winning. It's definitely not. Oi! Come on. This is Adam. The main man. Ah! Hello. <laughs> Adam with a broken back. <laughs> Sweet. So Adam, these are rare in black though, right? Because I, I've only ever seen them in the red, bro. Yeah, normally more the red, yeah. So these are quite rare. You can get very rare ones, what, yellow? Very rare. Yellow? Yeah, very Serious? rare. Serious? Wow. Yeah. I think yeah. it was a very limited amount of takes what they made in yellow and it had yellow Recaros. No way. Did they get the blue ones as well with some of them? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah blue Recaros as well, yeah. Blue? Yeah. That's like cool. Special, special, yeah, special. That's crazy. Special, special, Honda special. are doing big yeah. things out here, apparently. That's only exclusive to Honda owners. I never ever knew this. Seriously comfortable seat. They're really comfortable. I've totally messed up with Ray's seat now. He's going to get in it and be like, oh, this is all, 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 all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's got the harness bar here, which is pretty cool. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, little tip for you guys. If you're running harnesses, please, please, please don't attach the rear of the harness to the floor of the car. That oh, isn't how they're do intended. Stupid stuff, and they just rip out. They just rip out, and yeah. also there's, there's. I don't know how much of it is true, but they say if you're in an accident, it'll actually break your back. Wow. So yeah, because when we were at Santa Pod and they were showing us the scrutineering, they were explaining that the rear of the harness is supposed to be straight and they're obviously connected there, and it shouldn't go straight to the floor. Yeah. So whether it does break your back or not, I don't know, but it right. could be people just scare tactic. If it breaks but your back, what else? Yeah. What else have you got in life? So if That's you're going to put harnesses in the car, please don't just attach it to where the rear belt would be, because a lot of I've seen a lot of people do that. Use a harness bar if you're going to do it. Yeah. Adam, check this out. Can you get this on camera? Look at this. This is beautiful. This is a K-Pro, right? Yeah. It's a K-Pro shifter. Amazing. That's really cool. Yeah, it does look really okay. good. I love how it's all exposed. Ooh. This is like something you'd see in a supercar. We have yeah. all this exposed billet aluminium. <laughs> it looks beautiful. You're Absolutely right. amazing. We hope you enjoyed this video of this Integra DC2 Type R with a cool turbo conversion. Yeah. Over to you. Please guys, like, subscribe, because we know you love this video. Look at the packs packing, my God. No, I'm joking guys. You need to like and subscribe because we're gonna have a follow up of number two, and you're gonna see this baby run in motion, and that's what we're here to see, right? And I've been Alex Thompson for Messi Performance. Shah from Compare.Parts. Make sure you tell your friends, make sure you tell your neighbor, make sure you tell your grandma, everybody. <laughs> make sure they all watch these videos. We need the subscribers. <laughs> and if you've got any fun cars that you want us to review, please email us. Thank but you. if you, if it's a Prius, you can. Yeah, no Priuses. <laughs>
Lewis said it was his N75 bag. N75 bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he lost first round, but he's like had a second round. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he beat me. Yeah. In my daily. Yeah. It was my daily car. My RS6 is my daily car. Oi, Luke, have you seen this? Yeah. Luke is getting angry right now. So I'm going to get these suckers right now. No, I'm searching bits for you. I'm trying to get ready for you. What's your excuse for losing races? I've got a Nondas, I've got many. Many? <laughs> Don't talk. Don't talk, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, technically VTech lost, didn't yeah. kick in, yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah, technically lost it, you know. Yeah. Ad? I ain't got a license. You've got a license? I ain't excuse license. for the losing. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get here today? Huh? You haven't got a license. Bus. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Not the Silver Civic outside, I promise. <laughs> when I always see these mad cars and they want to pull up alongside me, and I'm thinking, oh, do you know what? I don't really know if I'm going to beat this one. I just turn around and say, <laughs> no, for real, you know my one? <laughs> running in my engine. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's oh, perfect! It's running it's just, in. It's just running in. in my just, engine. And, and the thing is, because it's a skyline, everyone believes it. Yeah. <laughs> so much. It's just been rebuilt, I'm running it in, man. It's like Sticky the Six got more. Any army owner will appreciate that. 100% man. And then we've got a roundabout. And we've got Ray. Laptop issues. The mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> trying, at the moment. trying to fix his car. Windows 10 decides to do an update. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 10. 